I had a friend, his brother was coming from the States to take him over to New York. Damn, I don't know where New York is, but sounds cool. What if I tell them I come with them? He's like, I talk to the Coyote and we leave it next Tuesday. We took a flight to Tijuana. We got in the taxi, it was like a super black car. And you can see all these gangs showing their guns around and they pull out guns, it's like, where is the money? They put us all the way to the back where is this big room. It looks like they tied up people there, beat them up. There are like five of them, the man gave money, all of them with guns. It's so hot, so the steam and the smell is very intense. At one point, one of them comes in, it's like, you know what, get out of here before I shoot you. So disappointing, no money. We ran. We got in a truck. We, we just there under the bushes, this lady goes, you know what, this is how it's gonna work. That guy is gonna go in front. He's gonna start stepping. Everybody steps on the same step. And the lady's behind, racing. They just keep walking fast and running. We start going down to the pickup point. The guy is like, careful, because if you fall, you will die. It was very deep. My step was a bit bad. I almost fell. There was this plant I grabbed, it had needles. I'm walking fast and taking the needles out. The adrenaline didn't let me feel anything. We got to this house and you know, I was just thankful that I made it to the States and I was alive. When I got to New York, you get pushed with the crowd, not because you want, it's because you have to go. And I was like, oh my God, these people are so mean and I love it. A month later, my friend says, I'm going to my hand. I want to work as a bus boy. You should come. That was the first time I did a Turkish salad. Put in a plate, put everything, olives and everything. And he's like, you wanna be a cook? I took the chance. I realized this is good. What you're doing is good. I moved back home and it felt different. Even though I grew up there, I couldn't understand them and they couldn't understand me. So when my friend Julia says, dude, we're going to Singapore, I didn't think twice. So I came to Singapore and I tried Mexican food. I mean, I think there's good places, but I was like, bro, I need simple. You don't go on the side of the road in Mexico City and be like, can I have a mahi-mahi with gold leaves, please? And I was like, I should do a restaurant. It has to be small, it has to be fast, it has to be inviting, it has to be intimate, it has to be casual. When they come and eat my taco, they're like, oh my God, this is just like being in Mexico. At the same time, it's hard because people are expecting the best. People are like, oh, let's go there. He's Mexican, it gotta be good. It was just amazing to be a part of all of this, you know.